Hey you guys, I'm Brian Paul, and it's time for some more PlayStation VR breaking news. There is a world people see, and another people sing in song. Today, Sony showcased seven upcoming PlayStation VR games in their latest PSVR spotlight over on the PlayStation blog. They kicked off the event with a brand new PlayStation VR game called Arashi Castles of Sin. It would be easy to look at this and call it Tenchu VR, and honestly, I don't think you'd be too far off. Taking place in feudal Japan, this stealth action sandbox game tasks you and your wolf companion with reclaiming castles that have been captured by ruthless bandits. Arashi Castles of Sin will be out on PlayStation VR this summer. Honor and the shadows guide you. Next up was the announcement that the Serbios developed Puzzle Bobble 3D Vacation Odyssey, a new VR take on the classic Puzzle Bobble formula, will also be making an appearance on PlayStation VR. It'll feature a story mode, endless challenge mode, and a fast-paced 1v1 online battle mode with cross-play support across PlayStation 4, 5, and PSVR. Puzzle Bobble 3D will be out later this year. The next game featured during today's spotlight was Trey Boucher's Wind and Leaves, and they finally went in-depth about the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. In fact, this new trailer for the game goes on for over four minutes. Winds and Leaves launches exclusively on PSVR, July 27th. Hi, I'm Alexandre Pernod-Lopez, co-founder at Trey Boucher and creative director on Winds and Leaves, our upcoming game for PlayStation VR. Our team is very excited to share more details about the game. So let's dive right into it. In Winds and Leaves, you are the gardener, the last being of an ancient lineage. Stranded in a barren world with nothing but a few tools, you face the daunting task of bringing back the vegetation to protect the land from recurring cataclysms. As the gardener, your only mean of survival in this desolated world is the power of the trees. Each forest you plant becomes a safe haven to serve as starting points for your exploration. Try walking too far from your trees, and you'll start to lose vitality. The roots will then slowly recall you to the nearest woods. To be able to explore further in the barren, you need to take some energy with you, using one of the collectors spread around the world. As you venture into barren landscapes, your energy will start to drain. Use it wisely to reach new areas. But that will only get you farther from existing trees. To truly increase your range of exploration, you need to start planting trees and expand your forests. Planting trees is a ritual that has been mastered by the gardeners for generations. Start by grabbing your shovel to dig a hole in the ground. Then choose a fruit and drop it in. Finally, use your time meal to speed up time and observe your tree grow in front of your eyes. To gather more fruits, which are the seeds you need to expand your forest, just climb up one of your now grown trees to pick some. Fill up your pouch before going into the barren for another planting expedition. As you explore, you'll discover ancient landmarks that need to be reforested to be awakened. Some will uncover new seeds to add to your collection, or trigger large structures that get you closer to your goal of protecting this world from the return of cataclysms. The world of winds and leaves features a variety of biomes, and each one of them with different ground conditions. The ancient seeds you collect can grow in some biomes, but to reforest the whole world, you will have to master the art of botanics and create new varieties from mixing different fruits together. 
these mixed trees will yield fruits holding the new properties. With the limited number of varieties you can keep with you in your pouch, you will need to observe the environment in order to plan your way forward. If you don't have the right fruits to fit the ground conditions, trees will eventually die and leave you without your vegetal lifeline. Some areas are affected by changing weather. For example, rain will shift the local conditions when passing above you. To make sure your trees make it, plant different varieties next to each other. The fully adapted variety will then support the trees affected by the weather conditions. As you progress further, you'll learn how to set an ancient plan in motion to end the cataclysms once and for all. You will slowly uncover ancient knowledge, giving you new abilities to traverse the world. That's it for today. We hope you're excited to discover the world of winds and leaves as it will be coming to PSVR July 27th. Thanks for watching. Find what you can, she said. Today's Spotlight also delivered a new video featuring an in-depth look at the enemies and combat of After the Fall. Vertigo Games' next zombie shooter features four-player co-op, move and aim support, and although today's video didn't bring with it an exact release date, it's still slated for this summer. So 20 years after the uh, apocalypse, uh, you're stuck in a frozen shell of what used to be Los Angeles. And in this LA, there is going to be a lot of enemies called the Snowbreed. So the origin of the Snowbreed is that during the 80s, there was a substance that we used to um, survive the uh, apocalypse. But at the same time, it's also what caused the Snowbreed. So the difference between After the Fall uh, and other VR zombie shooters is that you can play it uh, together with your friends, so it's all focused on four-player co-op. It's crucial for uh, any team member to work together uh, by healing the, each other, uh, sharing ammo, sharing weapons. Um, this way, you know, you can only survive in the world of uh, After the Fall. So what makes the Snowbreed different from the usual zombies that you see is that they have this wolf pack mentality. They're more ferocious, they're more predatory, and uh, you really need other players to just take them out. We try to make a distinction between uh, snow breed that have been um, out in the wild for many, many years. We also have some uh, special snow breed, uh, which are snow breed that have uh, mutated into completely uh, different uh, creatures. The systems we provide also allow for advanced weapon handling where a VR veteran could really dive into uh, our systems and really enjoy the gun handling and feel that real immersed uh, gunplay experience. Um, the game in VR is just another you know, um, level of immersion that you can't have in, on a traditional screen. For example, we have a creature, uh, the, the, the jock that slowly walks at you heavily, like armored, and you know, it will, will sort of pick you up by the neck and moves you up in the air. And this a sensation that you can only get in VR. It's not possible on a traditional screen. We want you to continuously play with your friends and go in over and over to just kick ass with your friends and fight really cool enemies. Regardless of which game you're looking forward to the most, I think a lot of us agree that Fract had the most explosive trailer of the day. This new video shows off everything from running and jumping to taking cover, shooting, climbing, and skiing. Fract is a PlayStation VR exclusive coming this summer. I need to get out of here.
This bastard means business. Jeez, you nearly had me there. How much further is there? Get the elevator to the top of the shaft. I'll rescue you up there. Looks like we got company. Coming fire! We showed off the first ever gameplay footage of Wanderer right here on Without Parole back in April, and needless to say, it looks really impressive. The newest trailer that was revealed today shows off a ton of new gameplay elements and minigames that have us both really excited and really curious how each scene will connect to the next. Luckily we don't have long to wait as Wanderer is launching on PlayStation VR, you guessed it, this summer. Hard on yourself. In the end, some things just prove to be... Inevitable. And finally, after an extended silence, Developer Rebellion showed off what can only be considered the best trailer yet for Sniper Elite VR, revealing a ton of new weapons and locations, showcasing some stealth elements, and a surprising amount of narrative. The trailer ends with a July 8th release date, so luckily, we don't have long to wait before we can finally play this one. I used cover and shadow to stay hidden. It took nerve, but stealth made me deadly. I swore not a single enemy soldier would leave this place alive. The enemy had surrounded me. The only way out now was through them. Alright you guys, it's all the breaking news I have for you today. But make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest PlayStation VR reviews, Let's Plays, podcasts, and of course breaking news. 
As always, I'm Brian Paul, and I love you all. <laughs>